All right, morning, Mish. We're uh, about to hunt some doggies. We got the setups there using Ocean of Floats, Apex line, and uh, we got some Rob Allen guns set up. We saw big fish yesterday, couldn't land them, but today we got Nick who um, didn't get to join us, <laughs> but he's uh, super keen. <laughs> Cannot wait. <laughs> I lost a tooth yesterday doing it. Let's <laughs> see. <laughs> Doggy got him. Yeah. The goal for our second day of diving was to get our onboard chef Nick onto a massive dog tooth tuna, just to show you guys how doable it is for pretty much anyone out there. We started our drift, shot one little fish to dangle and entice the, the dog tooth tuna up to the surface, and within about 20 minutes we had Nick onto a 40 kilo fish, which took us for a long fight and we eventually managed to get the fish to the surface and our stoke levels were absolutely through the roof. Let it tie itself out, let it tie itself yeah, out. Yeah. We, we got this one. Fish? Yeah, probably 50. Wow. 40, 50 kilos. Oh, get out of the way! Oh, oh. It's going for the reef, it's going for the reef. Everybody pull, everybody pull.
think it's actually alright. I don't know how that stayed in. Just keep it it in. went out the gill. I thought I'd just show you guys the raw footage of us landing that dogtooth tuna. Now, of course, there's a few things there that we could have done better as a group, and we were still obviously learning, being some of our first times ever doing it. And um, the reason we weren't in a rush to pull this fish up is all the dogtooth tuna we'd shot here previously had never really gone towards the reef. They'd always veered out into the distance, and luckily being Papua New Guinea, there didn't really seem to be any sharks around ever hassling us. And now on our next dives, you can just see that these tuna were in absolutely massive schools. Now we could see those 50 to 60 kilo fish either sitting down deep or just a little bit out of range. I did manage to dive down and have a shot at this slightly larger one, maybe a 30, 30 to 35 kilo fish. Unfortunately, that top to bottom shot wasn't really ideal for me and I did end up missing. On our next drift, we noticed that the dogtooth tuna seemed to be sitting in a very particular corner of the reef, especially the larger ones in the school that were sitting that little bit deeper. Now, it was really difficult to actually time our drifts perfectly to meet them on the bottom, but on this dive, Gene managed to dive straight down and meet this absolutely monster-sized fish that was probably 50 kilos, maybe even a little bit more. And unfortunately, he took a little bit of a long shot and it didn't seem that the spear had fully penetrated. I hope you guys enjoyed watching that raw footage of us landing that 40 kilo fish. It goes to show how incredible this spot was and those factors just like having no sharks and the fish generally swimming off and away from the reef made it really easy for us to land this fish, take our time as a team and not have to rush the fish in like we have to do very often in Australia. But don't worry, there's plenty more action to come as we've got two more weeks of diving that fish.